John Paul, how's your life changed since you became an MP? <laughs> What's making you laugh, my brother? I don't know check What's making you laugh? Yeah. I don't know what to say. 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 Lakini for now naona ukweli uh, Mungu akikupangia kitu unaweza enda far. Welcome to the show my brother. Kindly introduce us and tell you introduce yourself and tell us your name. Yeah, I'm John Paul Mwirigi. All right. I'm John Paul Mwirigi. I'm from Egembe South Constituency. Mm. MP elect. MP elect. Yeah. How did you do it my brother? I'm told you trounced giants to win the MP seat. Yeah, this started when I will, uh, I was in high school. That is the time when this started, because... Uh, you were in when you were in high school? That is 2013. Uh, this calling, it came as a dream, because uh, on 26th March 2013, that is the time when I dreamt. And uh, the following day, uh, date 26th, on 28th, that is the time I announced to the student. I, I told them that I will be vying for the parliamentary seat in 2017, the year 2017. That is how it started. Which school was that and how did the students take A day school. Yeah, we did a day secondary school. Uh, my students took it positively, but some of my teachers, uh, they were... So they were not positive. When did you start campaigning officially? From that time, I was organizing some meetings with the student. That is, uh, we were meeting the laboratory. That is where we were meeting, organizing how we can trans transvance uh, Egembe South. Until one time, that is the, uh, the same same year, uh, March, the, uh, uh, June, one of the chief within that area, he came and reported me to the school principal. Uh, he told him that uh, I was growing not, that uh, I will mislead even other students. So the principal called me in, his, in her office. She asked me what I was just uh, uh, what if uh, what she had was the correct thing or the correct information. I told her that uh, it was uh, correct information and I even asked her to vote for me. And when she returned, uh, she, go, uh, she went back to her home. Nikamwambia akienda ambie bwana to vote for me. And she told me that even if there is somebody who can who will tell me to uh, step down or to step campaigning, uh, to stop campaigning. Uh Nisiache I should continue. Uh, then uh, she told me that she would be happy w w when I will become the MP of that area and be associated with her. Unfortunately, in 2015, her husband started campaigning. Sasa, Madea Kakuja Kanuliza, John Paul, I have started campaigning. So I would like you to join my husband because I am your mother, so that you can assist, uh, assist him. I reminded her, Mom, do you remember that uh, there is one time you told me even though, uh, even if there will be somebody who will tell me to step down, I should not step down. Akakubuka kanyambewe John Paul na juo unokuanga dictator tu. Nakuambia, hakuna shinda, let us compete, then the people of Wigembe South will decide who will become their leader. What did you do differently that made you win the seat and trans giants as you're saying? Uh, I conducted my campaigns door to door. That is the operation or the strategy which I used. Because I knew it, those other politicians will not do that because they value themselves because they have cash, they have money, so they would not associate with the local people. Naenda kwa bomahili, nakula hapo, nalala pia huko. Wakikuja, they cannot sleep there. 
because they have their own vehicles. Maybe they will come and raise the meeting, then sneak to their homes. So that is how I conducted my, my campaign. And that is uh, how it was different from theirs. Because they would go and give uh, people money. Then I would go to the, to the people who had uh, given money. Now, Lisa, when you will elect him, what will he go to do? Will he go and refund uh, his money or will he go and start working for us? I was advising them, if these guys will give you money, remember that they are campaigning for me because they have jobs and they do not want to tell you that they are campaigning for me but they are ca they are campaigning for me indirectly and then i was told that you used border border riders and local people to campaign how do they feel now that you have won the seat they are very happy come uh, the uh, weekend in mepita i was just uh, traveling there just uh, visiting my people Watu walikuwa na furaha nyingi sana. Ungeenda yenyewe, ungesikia, ungeona I was their choice because they were very happy. Nikipitia huko watu wanafurahi. The other day I was in the market. Ile soko ya kina mama. Sasa akina mama walikuwa yani walikuwa wanabambika tu walikuwa wamefurahi sana. Wengine hata wanalia sababu ya hii kitu. Sababu I don't know sijui ni nini kiko ndani yangu but I would like to uh, to exploit what is inside me so that I can assist the people of Igembe. Now that you are an MP, what what are some of the priorities the things you want to do for the people of Igembe? First of all, I would like to remember uh, my dear parents. Our was as you are Igembe South. Sana sana hizi vikundi za kina mama sababu I promised them that I will provide for them uh, green houses where they can uh, uh, they can grow those uh, vegetables Allah for bonda bonda operators I uh, promised them that I will make sure that they have their whole licenses sitaki wale watu wao wanasumbuliwa kwa barabara sijui ya ana license nataka wao na license na hizo hicho ndicho kitu kimoja kile ambacho I would like to start with doing for the people for those young guys of Igembe South. Alafu kuna wenye wamemaliza vidato vya ine na ni watu vijana tu na wale watu wanahitaji kuendelea na masomo yao. Lakini vyenye wanataka kuendelea na masomo yao hawana vieti vimezuiliwa pale shule. So I would like to meet all the school principals wa Igembe South constituency wale wako in those uh, secondary schools so that we can uh, check or we can have a way vyenye hao watoto ama hao wanafunzi wangepata vieti vyao ili waendelee na masomo. Sababu if you do not have a form 4 certificate how would you proceed with your high level studies and you cannot so I would like uh, those young people to have their, uh, their their certificates so that they can continue with their academy uh, academic but let me ask you John Paul how much what's the highest amount of money you've ever earned in your entire life on a I was earning 350 250 what are you doing when you're earning 250 and 350 per day? bibarua, naenda kibarua kama ni kulima, naenda huko kwa jangwa mali tulikuwa tuna watu wanalima hizi ni mahindi. Naenda nafanya kibarua cha siku na pata 250. Kama siendi kule naenda arrest ni factory ya majani chai. Naenda pale na beba kuni na 350. Kama sinjaenda pale naenda kwa mjengo nafanya koroa na ani 300 shillings. Sasa singe sema kuna pesa zile zenye nimewahi pata nyingi sababu sinja wewekewa pesa monthly hapana napata pesa tu za siku. Hiyo siku kama ni 250 na unatumia kwa siku tu. Uh, eh, uh, na sunguka sunguka nazo tu. So what will you do with the, the whole amount of money you will earn as an MP? Hiyo pesa si hiyo eh, pesa to nitajijenga sababu mali naishi kwa sasa ni kwa mzazi lakini ina itanibidi sasa ninjenge kwangu ili nianze sasa kunjipanga pia wale wananchi wa pale gembe they would like to see that even even when we voted John Paul we didn't waste our vote sababu kama sitanjenga watakuwa anasema sasa huyu mtu ni useless tulimpatia kura at least hata akipata kale kama mshahara anjisaidie lakini pia yeye hawezi kunjisaidia I, would, uh, I may be a performer within Egembe South, 
nikose kunjinjengea mahali kwangu na ule mshahara na watu mwisho wanidharau kwa hivyo ule mshahara nitautumia tu kujijenga na pia saa zingine hata kusaidia saidia tu mahali kuna uwezekano how, how many votes did you get by the way uh, 19,000 there. All right, John Paul, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate the fact that you've won all the best. Congratulations. Thank you. May you continue to change the narrative of the country and inspire young people to rise up and take up their leadership positions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.